I am pretty new to YouTube, so I'm I'm trying. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm so excited for this um, new uh, vlog mini series. It's it's new for me and new for y'all. Um, so I hope y'all really enjoy it. Um, so let's get started on showing y'all our master bathroom remodel. You ready, to demo? We started demoing in April and it's like what the middle end of August so it's it's taken us a while and I mean just from not going with a regular professional company so yeah we had we've had tons of issues uh, with this project so far I mean tile is back ordered window is back ordered um, the like finding somebody who would actually like help us do the tile um i spoke with like 15 tiling contractors and they all basically said no because it was a small job and in reality we have been we were at like a standstill um demoing took forever uh we demoed ourselves. we did the whole thing by ourselves, and it was a lot of work especially with Liv, um, you know, we were trying to get it all done, like, before he deployed, um, but it's basically going to be, like, a surprise when he gets home, um, but removing the tile, oh my gosh, it was, like, it was just chipping away, because we were trying to save the thin set that they put under the tile, our house is, like, as old as my sister. It's like 25 years old. It's it's ridiculous. It's like when they built things back then, like they weren't meant to be torn apart. So it was just it was really hard to demo everything. Um, in all honesty, it was worth doing it ourselves than paying somebody to do it. I mean, they charge you thousands of dollars to demo a project when you know if you have some hidden aggression, like go take it out in your project. That looks so pretty. Why would anybody ever cover that up? I get it. Oh gosh, that doesn't that make it feel like it's so much bigger now? I don't know why. Well, I think those are actually like part of like the the year it was built. Like that was a thing. Cody and I, we did demo, so we did demo night, demo day, basically. Demo day turned into like demo months. It, <laughs> it took a long time just because we ran into so many issues. Um, because we demoed and then our tile ended up getting back ordered for months. So that was great. took off all the tile we did a lot 
like the first day removed a vanity um removed the first mirror and i wanted to save them because i wanted to repurpose them in the house um but that didn't happen so what'd you do Well, let's just try like not break it anymore. How many years of bad luck is breaking a mirror? <laughs> friend who is here for training who came and helped us which was really awesome he actually helped us do a yard sale too um, that same weekend it was really nice getting you know help from some of his friends uh, they helped us remove the vanity um, it took them forever to remove the vanity <laughs> that they took out it was stuck it took them like almost an hour to get it out they pulled on it they tugged on it uh, they tried to unscrew a ton of stuff that they thought would make it move um, I wanted to save it because I wanted to put casters on it and use it in the garage as part of like my, my workshop but that didn't happen didn't get to keep it, needless to say. The only thing I got to keep out of the bathroom was the mirror that didn't break. Success. Which I'm going to be repurposing. Just like I repurposed uh, the other one in our other bathroom remodel. I think I can link it. I'll link it here for y'all if it shows up. I don't know. <laughs> we didn't know what we were doing with that and it's structural um, so we're not we weren't just like knocking things down and then putting more sheetrock up we were moving a wall and structural wise I wanted to make sure it was done correctly because our house is super old I I was really scared we were gonna mess something up we had a framer offered to um, take the bathtub and the shower that were in there to the dump. So he helped us take those out through the window that we actually closed up. They took the window out, they moved everything through the window, through the backyard. Wow, we got so much done, like, with the help of the framers, um, grade A con I think pretty sure they were a local company um, so awesome to work with them like just they're so hungry which I love because that is exactly how I am I'm like I just I want more all the time and I don't know if that's ever a good thing because you know sometimes I feel like I'm drowning but I don't know any other way to feel when I am in projects because that's just that's what I love um, so Basically, right now, we are waiting on our window to come in. And then once the window's in, then all of the tile will be done. I don't have Cody with me anymore. He's gone. Um, I'm sure y'all picked up on that by now. Uh, so I'm going to be installing all of the plumbing fixtures, the electrical. Um, so what is that? Plumbing fixtures, electrical. My dad is going to be coming out here, so he's going to help me put install the tub and the shower doors. Um, so, I mean, honestly, I don't know what I'm doing with that, but 
you know, I'm confident that I can figure it out. But, I mean, my motto is, you know, you don't need to hire a professional to do everything for you. And also, you know, if you can build it cheaper, go for it. I mean, that's my, that's my thing. Like, I, but I also do love building furniture and, you know, really, because most of the time I can't find anything I like. You know, I'm getting off topic. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh. Um, so this is going to, this is the first episode of my um, vlog mini series for my master bathroom remodel, and I hope y'all enjoy it. Um, you know, I, this is really, this is new for me, so um, let me know what y'all think about it in the comments below. And if you're not already, already subscribed, Go ahead and subscribe now uh, because I don't want y'all to miss any upcoming episodes. Bye.